Hello everyone and welcome back. Let's play XCOM Long War 1.0. When we last left off we have been correcting some mistakes from the early campaign. We have uh, corrected most of them. Two or three more people are still waiting for their corrections but we can probably do it today. So let's scan for activity, get that advanced power armor. We definitely definitely need to build some of those because they are really really cool but we don't have the money for it or even the resources so we'll probably go for plasma weapons next we won't get to the really big plasma weapons because uh, we don't have that much uh, stuff it requires tons and tons of weapon fragments and the research is uh, scattered across five topics or so but we'll get at least some carbine style weapons and maybe you know normal rifles so th that should be good for our not frontline troopers so that they can do more however it uh, takes a lot of time so let's make it better by interrogating a heavy floater which should give us the plasma weapons bonus only costs three days of research and will decrease the time on many other uh, topics and let's go ahead and scan probably a covert operation Please don't be the four-man mission, please don't be the four-man mission, please don't be the four-man mission, dang it. Okay, we well, to seeing your progress. fine, I guess we'll just uh, take a person that can command, that will be probably Van Doren, if he's available. Uh, no, looks like everybody's fatigued. Chaos Shade is fatigued, Dogovic is fatigued. Where's the rest? Ah, oh, there you are. Somehow I missed you totally. Well, don't know why. I really don't know why. So General Van Doren, you will be the one commanding today. I don't want uh, these two people to be lost on a mission like this. Uh, we'll probably take Papa Bear Carlos to gain a level. Why not? Although you may be needed on a terror mission. But yeah, let's 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 do this. Then um, who else did we take last time? I mean, we'll try to run for it, nevertheless. So maybe we can take uh, a mech. Yeah, sure. Let's take Shogun because we don't want to capture anybody, so don't need an engineer. And um, what else? Uh, Hartenstein can also reach a master sergeant. Maybe we'll make you a mech as well <laughs> but no maybe i should take another rocketeer or actually i don't have that many rocketeers available i don't know who, who do we need we don't really need anybody we can take Jean, we can okay let's take somebody who needs psionic experience so either zhang that's not a bad idea you are a tank after all we can take uh, cannon fodder we can take a medic how many medics do i have left quite a few still let's take uh, mr badger or even spitfire alien no no mr badger will be fine yeah let's take steve badger all right and um i'm not uh, doing this off camera because this episode will be ridiculously uh, short i believe so let's uh, take the Gauss Auto Rifle and we need the Alloy Plating and we'll probably don't need the Armor Piercing. Let's take the Motion Tracker on you. Yeah, sure, why not? That's alright. Then Papa Bear will take a Carapace Stutter Gun and the Recoilless Rifle. That's alright. Shogun You'll need the railgun, grenade launcher or flamethrower. Flamethrower might be better, but I'll take the grenade launcher because we will be just uh, killing a few of them long range and then run away. Yeah. You need the holo targeter, probably. Not sure about it. And your will is not so great, so maybe alien trophy or a scope. Let's take a scope, why not? And medic, you're here to help us survive. 
nothing else really. Take the Gauss rifle and take the smokes, right? We need smokes to survive. Yes. All right, launch the mission. And this is either going to be a very short one. I didn't take a scout. Yeah, that's that's what I didn't do. I should always take a scout for, for lightning reflexes. Scans indicate an exalt cell currently operating in Australia. We'll need to secure the area while our operative focuses on the exalt data. Yeah, that was very stupid of me that I didn't take uh, a scout. But uh, this looks like it could be a very good mission. Is it the one we had last time as well? Because if it's that map, then it's really good. Yeah, it's the very same map we had the last time. Hopefully... <laughs> hey, deja vu. Strike one is going in to ensure the operative is covered while decrypting the data from the remaining relays. We have to keep that operative alive if we're going to recover the remaining intel. We well, the relays data. are on a different position this time. So that's not great. Christian, what's nearby? There is a pod right here. So you would need to... You would need to dash over here if you want to do that. If you dash over there... Then you can... Then you cannot go here, I think. Oh wow, can we actually do this one first? Wow. I would love to go here without having to... do much, but it doesn't look like it will be possible. Where can we go with the blue move, though? Here is dashing, so it's like one, two, three, four... Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. You cannot go nine just like that. No, you cannot. Okay, then um, how about motion tracker here? This might actually be not so great. Hmm. So we probably want to get their attention, don't we? We probably want to get their attention. So Fandoran come here and... Whoops. Okay. That's fine. And before we forget, I wanted to change the covering fire for flush, right? So let's not forget that. Actually, I should have taken Kanshir or Wojciech with me. Yeah, I should have. Uh, anyway, let's uh, take away your covering fire. That's minus 47. And let's give you the flush 37. Okay, that's good. Uh, now, we have one Exalt Heavy. How is that even possible? That we have just one. Okay, well that's uh, that's something. Come here. I'm on here. The I could grenade him, but I think I want to flush him. <laughs> How good is the chance for flush? 68%. Okay. How about Steve Badger coming? You have how much? That much. Well, let's get rid of all his cover possibilities, basically. So, one for all. Cover position here. And uh, destroy all the cover. I don't know if you have lit up all the cars. Probably only this one, which is not so great. Now you get into full yes. cover here and you overwatch and Carlos uh, could actually 
fire a rocket. But it's too much of a spread, so you will overwatch two and you will flush. And now we take 54 and 47. And he's down. Okay, flush paying off already. Now we need to we need to do something about this. So come closer. Okay, there's two pods actually. That's really, really not optimal. How much can we go now? Uh, so over here. I think we may not trigger them if we go there. Not sure about it though. Absolutely not sure about it. But maybe we can go down at least. That would also not be bad. Where's the... Where's the... This is inside, this is outside. I think I'm going Position here. Confirmed. They shouldn't see us. Yeah, they don't see us. And we see the Megapod there. But if we can get in and disable them... Then everything will be a lot, a lot easier. Yeah, I think we have it. Please tell me you can get there. Yes, you can get there. Thank God for 20 movement speed. See, this printer is paying off. It really is paying off. Okay, Christian. Seriously? Okay, so if that's the case, I will stay here as well and go there the next turn because I can. Yes, that's what's gonna happen. So, Snailman on Overwatch. Overwatch. Fandoran on Overwatch. We have eyes on the target. Steve Badger. Over here, and on Overwatch, you don't do anything, you can like hunker down or something. And you can steady that rocket, okay? You hear that? I do hear that. Alright, I think we have uh, spotted our first opponents. These are the reinforcements, I believe. We will uh, disable them as well. That's also the second reason why I have waited. I didn't push the button just yet. So let's hack. Excellent. And go here. Nice, now we have activated uh, everything, but it's still fine. You can most likely get back. I have full confidence in you. Let's blow stuff up. There was a sniper I didn't like over there. Uh, there are people here. Uh, maybe we can kill them too, why not? We have basically no scatter. One is down and the other one is gonna die soon. Collateral damage maybe? Yeah, let's try collateral damage. It will probably not do enough damage though. Yeah, it doesn't do enough damage. That's fine. Fandoran can flush him, probably. Yeah, let's flush him. Get down here. If I have all the fun. Okay, I don't know. Ah, oh, because of lightning reflexes. Yes, that's why you both missed. Okay. But you have double tap, but uh, no really good uh, opportunity to fire. Try it anyway. It's uh, a bit less than coin flip, but it may work. It didn't. Okay. Negative. Then uh, maybe we can mind fray him. 
I mean, he's disabled. What is he gonna do? Nothing, right? Yeah, nothing. But let's smoke ourselves, just in case whatever happens. And uh, get the heck out of here. Yeah, it's been 15 minutes. I guess we'll... Uh, We'll scan until the next mission, and if it's gonna be like a small scout or something, we'll do the next mission as well, because 15 minutes episodes are not what you were really waiting for, right? That's it, Commander. We've decrypted the last of the data. Now we just need to get our operative to the evac point. Objectives updated. Okay, so good job. Now I'll go away. Commander. The operative has safely reached the Excellent. extraction point with the recovered data. We can either stick around and eliminate any remaining hostiles, or move to the evac point and return to HQ. Yeah, we are returning Objective to HQ. Updated. One, two, Approaching three, now. four. And we'll kill this guy who's flanked. Sort of, right? Snailman. We'll uh, hurt him first with someone. We can really see just one person, so... Who needs the experience a bit more? We can't get it. Carlos already has experience. You have a nice gun that can wound him. If you hit, of course. Let's try with you. Nice, and now Snailman can finish him for additional goodies. Alright, and that's it. End the turn. Extract units. We have killed three of them, but they didn't kill any of us. That's how we like it. Well, we like if we didn't have four people and we could kill all of them. But hey, it was uh, free cash for just uh, 15 minutes of uh, little thinking. Not a scratch on anyone. The troops are better than I thought. Of course we are better than you thought. Okay, so extra conditioning, no. Double tap, no. Shock and awe. Additional rocket, yes. That was a no-brainer. All right. And only 150 credits, unfortunately, and not much experience, but fine. Melt, weapon fragment, Intel intelligence. Recalculating possible exalt facility locations. Okay, now we have one, two, three, four more possible locations. That's all right. Let's remember the date on 9th of November plus uh, 16 days is 25th of... No. When do I need to scan? Every 16 days, but we scanned on 3rd. So 3 plus 16 on 19th. 18 or 19, yeah, something like that. Okay, 190 credits. What can we do with 190 credits? I think we want to invest it into a few more things. Like... Like... Recoilless rifle, Gauss, Auster pistol. Hmm... I don't know. Breaching ammo, we have enough of those. Another cam grenade, maybe. Combat steams, flak ammo, impact vest, neural gun link. I think we will need that. One scope, 15 melt, and six alloys and eight illyrium and some money. Yeah, let's do like one neural gun link. We don't have this uh, psi thingy, right? We probably we have a psi grenade already. Psi screen we don't need. What else? Shadow device. I don't know about that. Doesn't seem like something I would like to use. It's too much of a cheat, looks like it. I'll I'll read more about it and we'll decide later. Then um, 
in the officer training school, 300 for field officers. I think we don't need that just yet. Let's have a look if we can uh, put somebody into the tank again. We probably will put uh, also other people who don't have P in front of their name into the tank eventually. But for now, for now I think we're good. Annette, you still need five more days, okay. That's fine, don't need to hire soldiers. Craft are ready. We are going after Africa next. I could start building things. I What, what I want to do probably is another mech suit. We have only one mech suit. And we need a second one so that we can take two mechs. Aggie's armor would also be great. Don't get me wrong. And But I think I'll build a second mech suit so that we can also upgrade the first one eventually. Yeah, Titan costs 211. That's a lot. That's a lot. And uh, not the Kestrel, but where is the Corsar? Costs a lot as well. We could actually afford this one, but I will go for the Mac 1 Paladin first. Yeah, manufacture that, please. And also maybe some facilities. Oh, I should have waited for the workshop though. I guess what's done is done. Okay, Illyrium 300, Alloys 300, Meld 100, uh, yeah, we are good on all this for now. Let's scan. Alien Nucleonics project is finished, that's perfect, now we can get more Illyrium. One scientist for eight sectoid corpses from Mexico, I think that's a good deal. Because Mexico still needs some shields. Satellite uplink facilities at maximum capacity. Yeah, Additional you can still required. have some more shields, that's fine. And we have abductor for a potential abduction mission, I guess. Yes. Commander. And it's a light one, so we'll do it as well during this episode. Yeah, we'll do it during this episode. So, um, I'll uh, equip the crew off camera and be right back. Okay, so today the commanding officer is Lieutenant uh, Echo Jones, Sawyer Jones. We have Snake Eyes, uh, Rovilen, Tolias, Dites, Kenshiro, Kelly and Elian. All have the pretty standard equipment, so let's launch the mission. Correct a few more mistakes on uh, Kenshiro. And then only last person, Wojciech, remains to make the corrections. And everything will be a-okay. We've just received another report of an abduction in progress in a densely populated urban center. If we allow the aliens to succeed, it's going to spread panic throughout the area. It's not gonna spread anything, Bradford. We have this. Unless they surprise us, of course. <laughs> Unless they surprise us. Let's hope not. This is Big Sky. Strike team has reached the AO. Requesting authorization to deploy. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one is clear to engage. Okay, so this is the edge. We are not in the edge, but the map is very small, so we will have contact very soon. Therefore, I need to scan first. And we see one pod right in front of us. Okay. In that case, where can I put you? You, I, you can be put there. Come on, I want to select uh, a Leon. So let's go away from the left side and go to the right. Deal with them, maybe. Hmm. Or we could uh, activate these guys, but then we will get flanked. 
so... Yeah, Rovilen. That's a very nice point for a rocket. Kenshiro. Yeah, I believe if we go closer we will expose them. So let's first uh, do something like this with our scout and throw it right inside the building basically. Right there we should uh, spot the circles and then we can effectively reposition. Unless they are on the roof. They are not on the roof, okay. So we can position pretty nicely. I should have first thrown it because I know that we can go here now. We'll put uh, infantry there and overwatch. Tolias, you are our uh, gunner. You would go there, but... Well, actually this shouldn't trigger either. But it's so risky that I will not have it. And we will go somewhere else. I think this shouldn't trigger either. I'll yeah, this shouldn't it. trigger either. So you go into half cover there. That's fine. And then DTs could already now use the smoke grenade. Because why not? But uh, I'm a little bit afraid of what's over there. Let's go here with DTs. Then uh, I do not have the Kestrel armor, right? Right. I think it wouldn't help me anyway. So where shall we go with you? Probably just uh, as far as you can, like here. Basically. You do not see them, okay. Well, study the weapon then. Tracy, you will need to come a lot closer. But you can, you can be doing that from... Well, hard to say. Come here for now. This should be covered. Yes, it is. And Kanshiro will come right here. Okay, Kanshiro can overwatch and the rest... Just hope that... Okay, okay, that's also fine. Somebody died already. Damn it. it was not the, the big guy. This one goes the heck out of here. Doesn't want anything to do with us. And uh, we haven't activated anything else. Right, right. It's a, it's a very small pod. That's how we like them. Let's turn off the sight lines. You can see both actually. This one is a problem. This one is a problem. No, well, no. Uh, I wanted my sniper. My sniper can see only this guy. Who can you see? Well, it's almost good enough. Almost good enough. He has half cover from where? From this thingy? Yeah, this is not a good rocket. This is not a good rocket. So the rocket will go here, I think. Right now. Won't even know what hit him. Maybe it kills. It didn't, but we can definitely suppress him and capture him. Now, Kenshiro, well, first, let's have a quick look. Yeah, one there, one there, and then some other stuff. Okay, 47. We'll see about that later. Monk can only see this guy. 73 with the mind fray. <laughs> That's better than your shot. Okay, how about, uh, how about that grenade? What do you think about this? You are flanked there. No biggie. No biggie, Kenshiro. You can take it. And uh, grenade this guy and all his cover. Like this. Okay, five damage. 
perfect and no cover for him. Now, you still don't see him for some reason, okay. Then you have... No, he still has cover. From what? From what? What on earth is that? Flying target. Oh, that's the only thing he has? Hmm. Well, I guess it's enough. I think I'll just run and gun over there. I shouldn't trigger. I really shouldn't trigger. So let's go and run and gun. Over here. Yeah. Let's go and run and gun over there. Nice, and you have 50... F hmm. Okay, 2 times 38. Wow, this guy is gonna be a real problem. Well, 10 and shred is nice. And 1 miss. Okay, 10 and shred though, very nice. What next? You can probably flush him now. 62, but we shall try to first tag him. From over here, if possible. You do see him there, okay. Come here. Well, these heavy floaters will be the... the worst enemy for us, I believe. They are not gonna be anything easy from now on, I believe. Elian, you have only this guy for some reason. Okay, DTs. You can probably see him from here if I open the door. Let's try that. Yes, excellent. 44. Wow, <laughs> this guy sucks. We can cam him. No, we cannot. He's flying. Okay. Well, let's flush him then. 72 is the best I have. But I would like to flush him from a bit better cover. Can you see him from there though? No. Well, that's a bummer. Okay. Alright, I need to think about this because you are flanked. Everybody is actually flanked. I need to I need to kill this guy. 87 with a mind fray. Yeah, take it. <laughs> Good job. Good job. And now only this guy. So let's uh, let's overwatch with you. Let's uh, suppress with you. Okay, and that's it. Let's flush. Oh, that's enough. Perfect. You, you can stop uh, suppressing. <laughs> Quiet. Did you hear something? I am hearing something. I'm not sure what it is. Like baby steps or things like that. Hard to say. Okay. We'll use the last motion tracker as well. There is something right in front of us. I have no idea how I don't see it yet. But... Um, let me just uh, position myself a little bit better. So, I think somewhere over here would be nice. Jones. So, we see something, we don't know where it is. Are they on the roof? They must be on the roof then, right? They are right next to this thingy. So they are here. Ah, there they are. Sectoids. Okay. 
and they are sort of bigger sectoids. <laughs> well, let's uh, let's prepare for them. There now. Steady your weapon. Kenshiro. They can't see any of us, right? Come closer. We'll need your uh, arc for over. And you can um, overwatch. Then uh, sniper. That's a good question. I think you'll just go where you can shoot. Probably there. Yeah, let's go here. And steady. And then you need to come a lot closer. So come over here. That's fine. Elian. Oh, I really need a better position for you, don't I? I'm not so sure about this one. They might see you through there somehow. Let's try, though. Okay, that was worth the risk, I guess. Uh, our suppression specialist can then go here and overwatch there. And DTs can go closer. Reload. Let's have a look what do they decide to do. Please come to us. That would be really nice. Well, they are coming closer, that's for sure. And uh, taking some reaction shots. One down. Two more to go. They are not in a very good position. I could probably destroy all the cover with the grenades, uh, with the rocket, I guess. Can I not? I mean, just basically get rid of all this uh, junk. Okay, something like this. Alright, now can we see? Yes, we can see them, okay. How about my sniper, 60 and 75? Let's start with the 75. He's down and the last one will most likely be taken alive if I can help it. So, Kenshiro... You don't have enough, but you can go there and somebody can suppress him or something. You can go also here, because this building should be should be fine. Yeah, where is my... There you are. Come closer, and uh, you need to let us know if there is anything... Actually, if there is anything over here. Let's try that. Because if there isn't, then it should be safe to advance. Yes, it is. All right, all right. Then, Elian, there is full cover here. You can try that. You still see him, and you will overwatch. Tolias, you can go here and suppress him. That's perfect. Sit down. Then DTs can go and cam him so that he's not uh, thinking of any retreat or anything. He can go right there. Kenshiro needs to come closer. Whoops. To capture this guy if possible. I think I'll... I'll try from here. I don't want to come there. There might be something right behind him, and this provides cover. Uh, Tracy Kelly will go on the other side, right here. And that's everybody. Okay. He's gonna stay there. He's not gonna risk it. Actually, he's gonna shoot. 
I'm impressed. I think I have heard uh, more floaters though. So we might need to use the last battle scanner and have a look if there is anything over here. Um, yeah, over there is fine. Let's throw it. And if there's nothing, we are gonna capture the sectoid. Yeah, there's nothing there, okay. So we're safe to try to capture this guy. I will try to mind fray him, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> very much. Okay, and then open the doors. Can you not open the doors or what? Nice. And try to capture this guy. Stun failed. Very unfortunate. So we'll just... Uh, That's also not helping. Okay, we can uh, we can come here and try to cam him so that he's afraid of. Well, that that's sort of pointless, isn't it? Let's just suppress him again. Copy that. I'm running low on ammo. Okay, then if you're running low on ammo, you can. Uh, Smoke my guys. No, he had 1% chance to hit, so you can just... Uh, I mean, we could cam him, but uh, then we cam ourselves. I don't want to do that. Come in some cover somewhere, please. Like there, and reload. DT's steady weapon. Rovilen. Come closer. You can come closer and reload. And let's have uh, attempt number two. Unless, of course, we see enemies like this. So the question is. Can you throw grenades on these guys? You cannot. So you might as well try that uh, arc thrower. Nice. And now we need to now we need to do something. Now this is good. I would probably like to hollow first. How come you don't have any targets? Really? Okay. Well, that's strange. Do you have any targets? You do. But it does very big scatter. Well, let's try it nevertheless. Okay, one sh uh, shred it. That's not bad. It was probably worth it. Uh, still, still can't kill him though. Tolias, or maybe you? Not even you. So there is no cover here. Who can see them? DTs can see them, Black Monk can see them, and that's it. So we need to just move away with you, and then they have to come closer to us, right? At least that's my thinking. There's no cover here. Oh, we can't even go there for some reason. Okay, then... Um, yeah, we really need to come closer somewhere. Like oh, yeah, there, maybe. Okay, we don't see them anymore, and now we need to smoke. Like crazy. Because heavy floaters are no joke. Heavy floaters are no joke. Okay, you cannot see them anymore. What the heck? Ah, yes, true. Okay. 
Okay, so study that weapon. And you are in very good cover. But come closer. And overwatch or something. You can hunker down, Jones. Elian, you can go on overwatch, I guess. Or just reload. Or even go back and uh, reload. Oh, you are totally exposed. Okay, Tolias. You need to go back. Right here. And reload. And we have just Elian. Elian is in full cover. You have two shots. Maybe I should just hunker down. Yeah, let's hunker down. Okay, he's closer, he's flanked, so he goes uh, closer than that. This guy is not flanked, he will shoot. No, he also goes away. Okay, so that was cool, I have to say. We have... Uh, we have eyes on all three of them, so 62% uh, to hollow this guy. I would like to fire another rocket still. It may do some nice work on these guys. Which ones of them are actually shredded already? This one is shredded, these two are not. Okay, then um, well, then try to shred these two somehow. I don't know. Oh, reaction shot! Wow, twelve percent only though. Covering fire, yes, that's what they have too these days shredded somebody but not the one I wanted the, the these two on that side are shredded okay I think I need to start killing them three heavy floaters man on a light mission not so great not so great let's see if we can disable one 49 and 94 Okay, I think we're not disabling, we're straight out killing him. Mr. Tolias, you have a shot on one. But I guess I would go for flush. So you need to... Yeah, you need to overwatch. And then... Uh, you can overwatch too, probably. You can't do anything yet. You can move into full cover here and try to do something to them. Like blow up that car maybe. Who knows, that might actually work. That might actually work. They do not have any reactions anymore. Are we going to get there? Just not enough, right? Yeah, just not enough. It's too... Too little. Next turn we go there. So you can hunker down. Yeah, heavy, heavy floaters are no joke. Tracy? I don't have any job for you right now. Unless you want to run over here, but you're too slow for that. You could dash over there. You will be flanking this guy. Man, that is tempting. But then you can be flanked so easily that it's not even funny. We can kill this guy and one will not kill you, right? How much HP do you have? 13. Well, if, they, if you are flanked, then they might still. Can we suppress... Uh, we can suppress this guy, that's alright, but we cannot suppress anybody else. 
Okay, I think it's easy to just kill this one. Okay. Now we have only two to deal with. I am still not convinced that I should run and gun you here. It would give you a nice flank and double shot on this guy. But then this one can maybe kill you. Set him up, knock him down. Yeah, it's too... too risky. But uh, you were born to risk things sometimes. 62 only, OMG. Well, try it nevertheless. Very nice, shred and 9 damage. And wow, you can actually kill him. That's incredible. That's incredible. Okay, now two suppressors could go closer and try to suppress this guy. The question is from where, because I have already... Maybe from here, that's full cover. Can you go there and do you see your opponent from there? So here. And let's have a look. You don't see him. Yeah, you don't see him from there, okay. Where else? Man, I should have... Or maybe you don't see him at all. Where does he see? Oh, you see, you see this guy. Dang it, why did I already overwatch? I could just move you away and then everything would be fine. So you are in his fire range. You are in his fire range. I could go basically... This is like one step too short. I can't command anymore. I can only dash. I don't want to dash. Copy Come that. here. And Copy overwatch. That. And uh, we need to put more smoke on uh, on this guy. Yeah, right here. Yeah, light mission, not uh, so easy. <laughs> not so easy. Okay, you can still do something. So what you will do is uh, move closer right there. Overwatch. Okay, that was super easy. I think he saw he's outnumbered like one, two, many. <laughs> we can run the overwatch. Yeah, you can't even disable him. So let's run the overwatch over here even. Why not? Uh, maybe we can run it like really run it. But I would probably like my command as well. So let's just uh, come closer. Sawyer, you were born for the lightning reflexes. It's a miss. One of these days they will hit us, but uh, not today. <laughs> not today. Okay, I think we can... We can not flank him from here, right? We would need to be one step further. Okay, then... Uh, can we mind fray him? 90% to mind fray. That's a good chance. That's a very good chance. So maybe I should start mass mind fraying him. Like this. 23, yeah, because... Okay, do we have grenades? Yes, we do. So we said we want to come closer. And grenade the heck out of him. Right here. Bombs away. Really? Wow. <laughs> the operation was a success. I was going to say like do a little bit damage to him and then we'll mind frame him three times and then capture him. But um, 
obviously that happened. <laughs> so <laughs> I take it. I take it. That was one heck of a grenade. Would never Looks say like it could be like this. Down there, and without so much as a scratch. Exactly. So Tolias is our uh, hmm. Good question. Tolias the gunner has flush and heat. Flush and heat. Will to survive to increase will and 1.5 damage reduction. Executioner or Ranger. Hmm. I don't think I'll need Executioner on the Gunners. It's probably better on other classes like Assaults, Infantry. So it's either Will to Survive or Ranger. Hmm. Let's take Ranger. Yeah. Let's take Ranger. Okay, and only one more promotion. Our uh, sniper. So we know we are not taking Sharpshooter. Either damn good ground, plus two will. You are a psionic troop as well. Or Ranger. Plus one damage, two primary weapons. It's not that important, I guess. Plus 10 aim and plus 10 defense. We don't need the defense. Plus 10 aim in lower elevation. Plus one damage. I don't know. Let's take the ranger as well. Ranger is a good skill. Okay, that's it. We have one alien pistol. Two floater corpses. Three heavy floater corpses. Why three? Ah, because one was also in the first pot, so... That's why Sectoid Captive, nothing else. 17 melt though, that's nice. Alright, and some money. Remember, so yeah. We will be watching. That's it for today. We didn't even go over time too much. I'll start uh, excavating for the last workshop. Because we will be building that last workshop as well. Yeah, we definitely will be working on that too. Okay. And uh, with that out of the way, I say thank you very much for watching. Till next time. Bye-bye.